you guys welcome back to the channel it's me alana and we are going to be watching some kaiju number eight all right so at the end of last episode we see a new kaiju entering the fold i'm going to call him kaiju number 10 because you already have a kaiju number nine kaiju number nine is already a problem okay because he he can uh consume a being and then use their likeness but I'm wondering once he uses one and he uh, uses another one, is the past one gone or does he still have the ability to use it? Will he be able to go back and forth between the, the, the humans that he has um, in his repertoire? Or does he only, or can he only use the one that he has recently, I guess, consumed and now is using? Um, so yeah, that is something. If he could transfer or use the different likenesses, that'll be dope. Um, that'll be dangerous, but that'll be dope. But anyways, we have him. He wants Kaiju number eight. We also saw Vice Captain going against Kafka. Kafka did very well going against him, even though he wasn't trying to kill him. The fact that we were able to observe Vice Captain's moves and Kafka comes out in the green, that is great for me. And we also see that Vice Captain is also trying to figure out a way to take down kaiju number eight if the opportunity presents itself where they are face to face. So Kafka, you better watch out because Vice Captain don't know it's you and I don't want you to die. <laughs> but yeah, I cannot wait for this next episode. I want to see how this new kaiju is going to um, be an issue for us. But I, what I also love about this show is like, even though we have like the fighting, the badassery of the kaiju uh, itself, I love the characters so far. I feel like they're building us up to love the characters to the point to where once one of them dies, it's going to be crushing, okay? It's going to crush my soul. And for that, I I know it's coming, but I don't, I, I, I'm not ready. Hopefully it doesn't. Maybe it's just me having like, like anxiety because of all the anime trauma that I've been through. But I just I just feel like something bad is coming and I, I don't I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna zip it. And on that note, let's just go ahead and jump in. Let's go. Oh. This analysis is the result of work by the science team of the Defense Third Division. Oh, this is a hypothesis which specializes in neutralization missions. The information that forms the basis for these hypotheses and analysis are gathered by the Defense Forces intelligent teams, as well as cooperative civilian organization. Um, status of pursuit. The Defense Force made attempts to gather more information to prevent further damage, but failed to discover the target. Yojo neutralization teams gathered at the hospital to form a pursuit force, expanding their search radius, but failed to discover the target. Uh, the DF designed or designated this kaiju a long-term neutralization target and gave it designation kaiju number eight, which they did. It was designated a nationwide pursuit target and became the first kaiju that the Defense Force was uh, ever failed to neutralize. Whoop whoop, Kafka! But of course, it's not going to be the only one because now we have Kaiju number nine not being subdued either. Second encounter. The second encounter occurred during the Sagamihara neutralization operation performed by the third division. After the defeat of the fungal type Kaiju, the mission had shifted to neutralize it. Uh, nah. Neutralizing the remaining Yoju. At this point, communication was lost with several rookie officers. As biological monitoring systems went offline as well, the unit began to search for them. Members of the search party discovered two of the officers who were experiencing communication failures, as well as a humanoid kaiju. Immediately afterwards, a mysterious shadow launched an attack at the officers, which struck humanoid kaiju instead. Ah, we are getting a good report, okay? They're gonna be like, hey, why is this kaiju helping us? That's odd. I would be like that, right? All right, if you like. The mysterious shadow escaped. The humanoid type, which remained, was identified as Kaiju number eight due to its physical description. An attempt was made to neutralize it, which failed. The unit recovered the two wounded officers and another unit initiated pursuit of Kaiju number eight. It may possess the ability to enlarge the size of its entire body. Descriptions of a mouth large enough to swallow a person whole and octopus-like legs indicate that it may possess transformational abilities he's talking about the kaiju number nine right the largest i think that that's the description of the other one not not kafka kafka he's just a strong monster you know what i'm saying but i will say vice captain is so very smart he understood 
Exactly. He saw something was off. He said that 1% means something. Ain't no sleep for you. He senses something. Can you see? Oh, the lights are coming. Oh, you caca heads. Holy schmoly. Next, skip it. Skip the intro. Poor people. And this is happening out of nowhere. From the air. Each and every one of them are big, big heavy hitters. They're probably goners. They're targeting the base specifically? Very smart. This isn't. His studying is helping. Something clicked. I wonder why. Do they not you typically run together? Somebody's orchestrating them. Is he walking towards our vice captain? Or am I tripping? It's targeting vice captain! He's looking for the strongest. I feel like all the humanoid does, they just don't know it. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Ooh, nice reaction time because you would have died. You pass? He said you pass a test? Nice. They got to get going. I would have been like, you got it, Captain. I'm, I'm, I'll play in the background. What the hell? Oh, he's talking to the, um, the kaiju. You gotta pay attention, Vice Captain! Yeah, make him be scared! I don't want you to die. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so glad you're like a ninja class. It's harder than Kafka's! <laughs> Kafka, we need you! Kafka. Good stuff. Hit that back. GG's Kafka. I like how the, the, the music changes because it makes me feel like nobody's going to die. <laughs> Nice teamwork, you two. Fully unleashed. <gasps> ah! How did he know he was going to be there? Nice dodge, by the way. Girl. Girl. Kikoto's funny. She said, just take him head on. Break their, their, um. How is she that strong? All right, hair flip. Girl, I like you. Girl power. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. The third. Ooh, go girl. And you a rookie. Yo, she that's a big boy right there. And she's using it. That's right, girl. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe.
殺中後方に衝撃波を発せ What? And she can make it go faster? Nice! What? Water too? Ice! Ah, oh, weigh their wings down. Have them crash and then take them out. That's a good method. Let's go, rookies. Let's go. Where's Obedia? He like, what about me? Okay, so down there's. I love how everybody is like progressing so quickly. Uh, big, big, big dude here. Oh, it got him a little bit. Maybe this was a boxer in its previous life, and then like the kaiju that inhabited his body carried on some of his, you know, spirit or something of wanting to fight the strongest. Most kaiju, he fighting kaiju too. So whoever he eats, he gets as strong as them. Uh, that's why he lured your ass in there. Ew, that looked weird. Don't die. I don't know you though, but I still don't want you to die. Nice, Kafka. I like how he's learning how to use different parts of his body instead of transforming all together. Behind you! Oh, he's giving him that friendly, hey, you don't have to go all out right now. Don't get caught up. Last time was a close call. They just do, cause they do it. I hope so, shit. Oh, we're all coming together. Everything seems to be going well. It's just now Vice Captain that we have to worry about. Doom it. He can't regrow his limbs. And he's learning. Why is it not fun? Ha! You thought? Wow, you ain't got no arms! He fudging can regrow his lips! I was wondering! Rivals, rivals, rivals. Boy, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared for you, Vice Captain. You can't regrow limbs once you lose yours. It's gone. A full slasher? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Ain't no way. Ain't no damn way. Something bad is happening. Something bad is happening. If 
Cap is in his human form. He knows something is bad. Something is bad. Is this a fungal type? Is or is that a mist? I'm sorry, Cap is gonna have to pull up. It's Cal, I'm sorry. But he gonna have to change. He's gonna have to transform. Ain't no damn way. All right, you guys. So everything was going great. Everybody's working together. Vice Captain was able to use 92% of his abilities going against Kaiju number 10, because I'm calling him number 10, y'all. And everything seems okay. I know when everything seems okay, something ain't okay. Again, anime trauma. So. I knew once he wasn't regrowing his limbs, something was up. Because we've seen all the kaiju so far that were humanoid types, even Kafka, are able to restore parts of their body. So for him not to regrow, I'm like, mm, you strong as hell. Why aren't you regrowing your arm? You're learning just as, just as freaking um, Vice Captain is learning. And I was right. He was. He was looking and he was like, oh, okay, this is boring, but not boring now. And then he started just going ape shit. So it's like, you can regrow your limbs. If something bad happens to Vice Captain, he can't. So I know Ichikawa does not want Kafka to, to, to probably transform and all that kind of stuff. But in this moment, Kafka in his human form is already hearing sirens in his head. He's hearing detection sirens going off. He needs to take his ass to help Vice Captain. If not, you see the difference in power. She said it's 9.0. 9.0. Vice Captain, I think the alarm was going off in headquarters and he was like, not yet. I don't think he can probably sustain using 92% that long. So how long is he going to be able to freaking continue to fight Kaiju number 10? Cap, get your ass over there. You best to skip that. You better leave. Whatever her name is, Manase. Whatever her name is, Minase. Whatever her name is, and, and get 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 to Vice Captain because he needs it. Oh, also, we don't know where the captain herself is either. Maybe she can pull up, and maybe she could just snipe Buddy. But I don't know. I don't know. We we just need some help right now. But yeah, this was a great episode. I had so much fun watching it. Again, it's like I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. It's like I'm waiting for something to just 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 take me there. But so far, so good so far. Everybody's alive. <laughs> oh, also, I want to say big ups to Kikoru. She's the number three strongest person there at the base, and she is doing her thing. Her being strong and the rest of our rookies are hella strong, and they are banding together and putting up a great fight. So hand clap to them. I'm proud of them. They're going to do big things, okay? Big things. But yes, again, sorry guys for talking so much. Thank you so much for watching this with me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.